Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on the Lazarus Project, a time travel thing that I should like, but I'm already seeing tons and tons of problems with it. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's what? It's the Pineys, books one through nine, available at Amazon.com. Kindle Unlimited is free. Now, let's get into it. Uh, I believe this is a series, seems to be a series, and the premise is odd. So, a guy uh, he falls in love, he uh, gets with this girl, I guess he marries her, and they're having a kid, and then one day there's a terrible car accident, and she is killed while she's pregnant. Horrible. But then he wakes up in bed with her, and it's the day before, and it first I'm like oh this is like Groundhog Day but then he gets recruited by something called the Lazarus Projects and they tell him oh we can uh, back up time and uh, I guess he doesn't remember what happened to his wife or girlfriend or whatever um, I think the series is woke because <laughs> in the trailer he asks her well oh I guess you could go back uh, to the 1800s huh and uh, she goes I'm a brown woman and England, why the F would I go back to the 1800s? Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't sit well with me if you're going to be woke at time travel. But anyhow, uh, they explain it. It's not a great explanation. Uh, they could basically time travel. And they only do it to stop uh, extinction-level events, they say. So there's going to be a nuclear war set off by the Russians, of course, because they're the new baddie. He, of course, decides, I got to save my wife um, and my kid. Who could blame him, right? Oh, but we can't save them. You can save everybody, but you can't save them. Uh, I think you got to save them. And for some reason, he's recruited. I don't know. And so he keeps going back in time, trying to fix time and save his wife and stop the nuclear war, I guess, coming in 2022. Lazarus, I assume since it's a Sky original, that uh, that it's a series. It might be a movie, maybe. I don't know why they're recruiting this guy. I don't understand that. I don't understand why they're recruiting him. I assume they kind of know what happens to his wife since they can control time. I think if you can control time, you can pretty much look to see what happens to a guy's wife that you're going to recruit. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, maybe they, in order to recruit him, they say, oh, we saved your wife. Now you have to work for us. No. Instead, it's like, oh, we can't save your wife, but we can change time to stop a nuclear war, which doesn't make any sense. Time travel rarely does. It's a tough nut to crack, screenwriters. Tough nut to crack. Um, I've done it with supernatural time travel. That's a little easier because it's supernatural and you don't have to obey the laws of physics. When you're talking about actual sort of scientific time travel, yeah, it ain't going to work. It's never going to work. It's never going to work for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's impossible under the current technology. Uh, it's fun, but it's not actually possible. However, you can overlook that, you know, suspension of disbelief. Okay, so let's set that aside. Let's say you do have the technology to time travel and this is key change the past okay how do you prevent uh, things from being ruined how do you prevent uh, people from saying oh well as long as we're going back to do X why don't we do Y and Z like this guy's doing the truth is you wouldn't be able to do that you wouldn't be able to control the literally billions and billions upon billions of variables that cause time to play out you just wouldn't be able to control them all so the idea that you could again you'd have, you need another suspension of disbelief and then they ask us to well we can prevent millions of people from dying but we can't prevent this one woman from dying even though this guy probably knows exactly when and when it happens and it would be easy to stop so my you know, and part of the problem is this goes back to the original sort of time travel stories, H.G. Wells. I mean, like, I believe his was about going back in time to save 
save his wife. I think it was. Wasn't that the original story? I don't remember. It's been years. But, um, so if you're going to go for that again, okay, maybe. But this guy isn't even... This guy isn't even in the project. He's being recruited on the day that his wife's going to die. And he's going to have to be intimately involved in, like, changing time. You're telling me this is this is a, 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 a place that's so top secret. You have the ability to time travel. The ability, I mean, and you're talking, like, what organization could possibly use this insane power responsibly? No one. The UK government's gonna have it have a handle on this. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. I've seen them. I've seen what they do with responsibility. Yeah, they're not gonna be very responsible with it. So, you're making a huge, a bunch of leaps of faith here that I just don't even buy. But okay, so he's gonna save his wife. So why can't the technology allow him to do that? And then, you know, somebody bust into the, to the project, I guess. I don't know, somebody who's figured it all out. And then he's holding them at gunpoint. Because, you know, when you got the ability to time travel, guns are so threatening. It, it, it all, it's already looking, just from this trailer, like it's falling apart. Look, the fun, you can have fun with time travel. You really can. I love it. But have fun with it. Don't get bogged down in the specifics like, okay, now it's going to be about who controls the time travel and then we're going to go back in time to stop the people who control time so we can control time. It's like you, you're, just, you're just spiraling down into nothing because then it's about, well, who, who, who invented time travel? Let's go back in time and kill him or kidnap him and make him work for us. Or, you know, once you get down to that level, then what, what about all the other times you prevented World War Three or whatever. Oh, well, you kidnapped this guy and then you weren't there to prevent it. It's like, I, it can't work. You, you you can't make it work as, you can do it as a comedy. Comedy, supernatural. You could do it as a scientific thing if you keep it light enough, like Quantum Leap. That was at least light enough. It was sort of time travel, kind of not really. He did, he did change the past, though, but he could only do it in very tiny ways with per particular individuals. And in the end, they, you know, the last episode, I thought, was just dumb. But, um, but that at least made it work. This kind of high drama, high stakes thing, yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because you are, you know, he says, oh, yeah, I'm going to stop you people from playing God. You are playing God. You're, you're doing a rookie screenwriter thing. You're doing big, big moves just to get attention for your story. And then you can't resolve those big moves in a satisfying way. Because, you know, the biggest move would be to wipe everybody out at the end. Now, if you're going to end it that way, kudos to you. Gutsy. I don't think people will watch a show like that. If it's a show, I don't think it's a movie. First trailer for The Lazarus Project. Yeah, I think it's a show. I'm going to guess it's a show. Um, it's saying a movie trailer, but... If it's a movie trailer, yeah, maybe it could kill all life on Earth at the end. I mean, a way to end it would be that the main character does save his wife. Nuclear annihilation happens, but there are survivors, and him and his wife are survivors. And so he does save his wife and baby. They live in a world that's been a nuclear wasteland, but they're, they're alive. That would be an interesting ending. I don't think you're going to go down that path, though, right? So, and then on top of this woke line about, oh, I'm a brown woman, why would I go back to the 1800s? Uh, where does that come from? Okay, whoa. Maybe go back to the 90s when this wasn't an issue and you could make regular movies and not preach to me. Um, so, I'm out. <laughs> as much as I love time travel stuff, I'm out. I don't know where Sky Original stuff airs anyway. Probably don't have the channel. There's too many platforms, too many things. Uh, if you had made it fun, maybe. So if you'd like a high stakes drama that may be woke and probably doesn't come together at the end, I, uh, the Lazarus Project, I guess, from the Sky people, the Sky Original people, I guess. I don't know. It's just my opinion. Um, and that's it for me.
Tony D and Little Joan. Should I do a three-act breakdown? God, I didn't even do it in the other one. All right, so first act, if it's a movie, would be him and his wife. Set up with his wife. His wife is killed. He wakes up in bed with her. Oh, it was all crazy dream. And then he forgets it. Next, he's recruited by the Lazarus Project. They tell him about this thing. His wife's killed again. Because it's the same day. Uh, he realizes, for whatever reason, that he lived that day twice. Uh, maybe it's something the Lazarus people tell him. So he plans on being part of their organization so he can go back in time and save his wife. So, second act, he does that. There are obstacles in the way. Other characters keep telling him not to do that. He's looking for various ways to, I don't know, hack the computer server or change something here or there. He manages to do it. He makes things worse. He's got to go back in time. Now they want to go back in time, but he's got to save his wife again and again and again. Each time they do it, they make things worse and worse and worse. And then it culminates in probably him dying, saving his wife. That, that's the way it would probably play out as a movie. And uh, there'd be some woke, preachy stuff in the middle of it somewhere. Anyhow, that's the best I can do. If it's a TV series, uh, I mean, he'd go back in time. He'd spend the whole season trying to go back in time. He'd save her, but make things worse. And then they'd have to deal that with that in season two. Anyhow, uh, that's it. Um, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. We got a Hollywood hot take and a news blast. We'll see you tomorrow.